hello guys um welcome to ios nemesis okay and um, today i'm going to take you through broke one disk how to use it and um, how to bypass your device this is not going to be a bypass tutorial this is going to be an overview of what broke one disk is and what uh, what kind of um, what kind of phones can it bypass and then what versions are supported okay so and what bypass method is supported here so first of all blue Ram disk supports iphone um iphone 5s up to iphone x we are trying very hard to integrate iphone 4 and iphone 5 and iphone 4s into it but for now it supports iphone 5s up to iphone x okay so what versions are also supported now it supports from ios 12 up to the latest ios 16.4.1 yes it supports up to ios 16.4.1 so this is the this is um currently this is the latest version this is the latest version here so whenever you open this program make sure you open with administrative privileges Whenever you open this program, you see two buttons here. One is check device, and then the other is option. So the, it's like the checkering interface, the checkering jailbreak interface. So first of all, you you might want to go to options. So first of all, whenever you open the tool, go to options. So options allows you and tells you the kind of bypass you're trying to achieve. So this will this will allow you to choose the type of vipers you're trying to achieve so um, in default okay uh, broke ram this is for passcode bypass so if you want to do um, if you want to do a um, hello bypass then you might want to generate activation files that can be used to activate your phone so basically this is how the bypass where you have to have activation files and then you erase your device so your device have no activation files right now then you use the activation files you have to uh, to activate the device so that is how it works so to activate passcode first of all you have to back up the activation files on your device with if you're on hello you don't have activation files so you have to create some and then to create some so first of all i'll be taking you through the hello bypass so you have to generate activation files okay to uh, generate activation files, this means creating a fake uh, activation file to um to activate your device so you have to check this all these are not necessary they only come into play when they are necessary when the tool uh, needs them okay so if you uncheck this it will not have any effects on your on your bypass so you can leave them as it is uh, you can just leave them whatever you want so I will recommend you just leave the fixed drivers. You just leave it as it. Don't check it so that you can do it yourself. So, whenever you you when you check this, so now program this will be looking for a device in normal mode. I have a device here in normal mode, and then I'm going to use it. So I'll first of all connect the device. So assuming I'm trying to bypass a, a device in Hello, okay the device in hello bypass and passcode is basically the same so first of all connect your device in hello if you are prompted to trust this in your device please do trust it okay then make sure that generate activation files is selected or is checked then click on check device okay so now my device is connected successfully so that is it so first of all to proceed you have to register your ecid it is free just click on this and then it will copy your ecid then click on this it should be registered here then it will take you to the registration page then you register i have already registered so you just click on next and it will take you to where you are going to register uh, you are, where you are going to generate activation files I've already generated activation files so it is not going to allow me to generate activation files so when, when I click on generate activation files it should tell me that I already have activation files 
if I don't if I don't have then it will it will generate a new one okay okay I don't have so it has generated a new one okay okay, okay. yeah it, it has generated and it, it should pop up in a minute the activ activation files should pop up in a minute okay so if you have if you don't have activation files it will just generate activation files but if you do it will tell you that you are already you already have an activation files and then make sure that you see this is my easy ID make sure that the activation files is exactly seven kilobytes if it is more then you you probably didn't do it well you see my activation file just popped up in another window yeah it, 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 this is telling us that this is our activation files so make sure that your activation files is seven kilobytes if it is more you, you're probably doing it wrong if it is less you're doing it wrong make sure it is exactly seven kilobytes okay uh, so you're now done with generating activation files so you can just click on start bypass or flash it will take you back to um, the interface now it is checking device and point DFE mode you can go back then click on so this is how you generate activation files and now when you are done with generating activation files you should put your device in point DFU mode okay so this is when you're going to activate your, your files so first of all you have to make sure escape setup after activation is checked so that you don't have to be tapping next escape then stuff at a, a setting up your device so it will automatically set up your device for you so make sure that is checked if you don't if you want to set up yourself you can leave it unchecked then go back okay so now you have to put your device in point d if you mode i'll be doing that in another video for now it was generating activation files and then we were talking a little bit about the tool so this is how you generate activation files so now what are some of the what does some of these check boxes do so the check ring when you click on this it, 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 it will freeze for a moment okay it is checking whether your device is having um ssh connection or you jailbreaking your device if you've not jailbreaking your device it will prompt you that you've not jailbreaking your device you see jailbreak with check ring before checking the next option it will be changed in the next updates but for now that is how it is so this is for passcode if you want to bypass passcode um with check ring this is how you do it you just check this option then go back it will take you to where you're going to um uh, backup activation files and we also have icloud bypass for ios 12 to 14. so this option is is for checking bypass on ios 12 to 14. so any device that is running on ios 12 to 14 and then you can do break with checking you can use this option and then when you use this option and then go back you should be it should be looking for a device um, in normal mode okay yeah it should it should be looking for a device in normal so if you have a device iOS 12 to 14 it is it is on hello act activation lock and you want to bypass it you can use this method it will bypass your 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 device for you this method is currently tethered so this means if you reboot your device it will be stuck on activation lock again unless you jailbreak and then bypass again I'm trying very hard to make it on tethered so that you don't have to um, uh, uh, jailbreak and activate every time you reboot the phone so this is our option so you have iOS 16 here for our existing users we are trying to bypass iOS 16 on hello or on passcode this option should be checked make sure that if you're you're bypassing on I, uh, iPhone iOS 16 this option is always checked make sure it is checked okay before you proceed else you you might not get the results you want so that is it we've already looked at generate activation files and escape setup after activation so this option save backup online this allows you to save your backup online so i have um, uh, some of you your backup files saved on my server so if you lose those um uh, you lose your activation files 
and then the device is on activation lock you can dm me and i'll if i have it i'll send it to you okay so i i will recommend you always leave it checked that is why it, it is checked automatically when you launch the tool and make sure that you're connected to the internet before you 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 select that else your activation files will not be saved on the internet and then lastly we have the fixed drivers fixed drivers um the the tool was automatically fixing drivers but it was some sometimes slow and uh, if you really have the drivers fixed if you have the correct drivers it will try fixing it and that can cause driver issues between uh, the multiple drivers on your machine so that is why i left it uh, unchecked so that you can fix drivers yourself or you just uh, check this and it will try and fix the drivers automatically for you yes i will i will, I will recommend that you leave it unchecked so that you can do it yourself it's very very fast with that and then it's 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 reliable to do it yourself don't re rely on the tool to, um, to fix your drivers for you so that is basically it and we have a donation button so you can click on this don donation button and uh, it will open a web page make sure you donate to the tool so that we can make bypass more free and then um, always free for you so that you can bypass any device without paying a penny okay so make sure that you donate to the developer which is me <laughs> um, so this is the donation page make sure that you, you donate okay, I'm closing it make sure you, you donate to the tool another thing is we have the DFU helper here we have the DFU helper this allows you to put your device in DFU mode if you're having issues putting your device in DFU mode you can use this to put your device in DFU mode your device must be in recovery mode at first before you can put it in DFU mode and then um, I think I've talked about a lot of them so we will be, we'll be dealing with a lot of um, a lot of these features later on so this is the front page and then option so we'll be dealing with the jailbreaking option how to fix drivers when you get driver issues and then stuff in the next coming video so make sure you subscribe to this channel I'll be posting videos about this tool so that you don't get problem using it make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any videos I post okay